All right, guys, today we're going to be working on um, comparing fractions with the number line. So in the first couple questions, you worked on just identifying points on the number line. And so on this one, we actually have to make our own number line um, and then plot these two fractions on there and decide is it less than, greater than, or equal to. Okay, so um, we've got negative 8 ninths and 1 ninth. So that means that when we set up our number line, we're going to have to set it up and break it into ninths. So first thing, draw your number line, which hopefully you've already done. Um, then what we're going to do is we're going to, I'm going to put my whole numbers on here and none of these are greater than one. So I know that I can just go from negative one to positive one. Um, I'm always going to mark that zero right there in the middle because it tells me that the positives are over here. And my negatives are over there. So here's my negative one and here's my positive one. Now, um, like I said in class, it might ha be helpful to draw your whole number lines a little bit longer than you're going to do your fractional marks okay so if we're going to break our number line into ninths that means that we're going to have nine little spaces on our in between our whole numbers and to get those nine little spaces we're going to draw eight tick marks okay so i'm going to start over here on the negative side we're just going to draw eight little tick marks and remember that they need to be evenly spaced um, and our eight tick marks create nine spaces. So here's one ninth, two ninths, three ninths, four ninths, five ninths, six ninths, seven ninths, eight ninths, and here is nine ninths. Okay, so do the exact same thing on the positive side. Nine spaces, we want eight little tick marks. Okay, so now that we have our number line set up, <laughs> What we're going to do is we're going to plot both of these values and see where they fall at on the number line. So to get to negative 8 ninths, we're going to start at the zero always. And we're going to go 8 little tick marks to the left or to the negative side. So here's 1 ninth, negative 1 ninth, negative 2 ninths, negative 3 ninths, negative 4 ninths, negative 5 ninths, negative 6 ninths, 7 ninths, negative 8 ninths. So that's where I'm going to put my dot. Now we've got to do the same thing for positive one ninth. I'm going to start at zero and I'm going to go to the positive direction, one ninth. Okay, so now we have to ask ourselves negative eight ninths is to the left of one ninth. And we talked about in class that anything that's to the left on the number line means that it is less than. Okay, the further to the left, the smaller the numbers get. So the fact that negative eight ninths is to the left on the number line means that it is less than. So our final answer is negative 8 ninths is less than positive 1 ninth. Okay, so this is what you're going to do for the remaining questions. You're going to um, create your number line, you're going to plot the two values, and then you're going to determine using the number line, is it less than, is it greater than, or equal to.